I've had this game on my wish list for a while. I believe, I guess as it says here, it's beta 0.93, so it's not a fully released game yet, but it does look very cool. And uh, I think it fits right in the mold of the kind of game I've been looking to play recently. So I'm curious to try it out. Long ago, a great beast came from the sea and brought with it a poisonous fog that spread across the earth. Corrupting everything it reached, the poison fog slowly transformed the world and brought about a new age. Now, grounded by the poison sky and outnumbered by creatures, Humankind became desperate and formed feudal kingdoms. Closed off from each other, they became paranoid and are on the brink of extinction. Those deemed undesirable, such as criminals or the ill, are cast out. Banished into the depths of the Great Well. A pit of the diseased and undead. The Great Well is said to have but one door to the surface. Whoa. Thief, thinking of stealing your life back. You belong to the depths now. Oh, oh. Thief, knight, witch, vampire, undead, royal, cleric, shinobi, forsaken. Beauty. External image. Interesting. Huh. Uh, let's just read the descriptions. Uh, a thief, a hidden figure from a faraway land cast into the well for their crimes. They begin with little, but are adept at finding lost treasure. Are these like your resistances, maybe? You have a level. HP, MP. 
They're balanced. A knight has a lot more health. Level 10. The valiant warrior, steadfast and determined, albeit lost without a king, they excel at combat and find glory in violence. A witch, a cutting magic user with a penchant for the dark. They thrive with the waxing of the moon and feed off their own lunacy. Alright. Vampire, a bloodthirsty creature of the night awakened by hunger. They are replenished by shedding of blood, but weakened from fire. So a higher number is bad. So this looks like holy. This is probably like death or unholy. Poison, maybe. So they would take less damage from those things because the number's lower. Undead from fire and so on. A discarded corpse, unwanted by the world above, yet highly resistant and stubborn. Oh man, I don't know what I should... A child of noble birth, inexperienced but well equipped otherwise, their lineage foretelling their importance. Cleric, a nurturing healer on a pilgrimage to help those who are lost in the great well. They put others first for better or worse. A silent, deadly shadow sent into the well to assassinate. They care not for the corpses left behind, only those ahead. Forsaken. Level 1. A waste of flesh. Notable for nothing less than dust it leaves behind, they have nothing to lose, driven forward only by self-loathing. They take half poison damage. I mean, I guess we gotta do Thief. I wonder if I can find this folder and add a picture in there. Lunas, uh, let's see. I might have to restart the game. That's fine. But that should be saved in there now. I gotta say, this looks pretty dang cool. So far. I'm gonna skip this or is it gonna force me to watch this? Hold any key to skip. There he is! That looks kind of shitty, but whatever. Uh, let's go. Hollow Basin. Oh man, the is that something you can change, or is that just how it is? Your sensitivity, like you really have to turn to turn. I didn't notice any settings, and I can't go into a settings menu, so maybe that's just how we are. That's the Q button, is doing something. Press I tab. You, Bob Gamma, we gotta have at least <clears throat> sensitivity. Let's pull that up. Right handed. Sure. Compass style. Footsteps by class difficulty. There I am. Weapons, magic rings, quick items. 
How do I get tab? There, I guess that's good. Oh. I might even put the FOV down. I just don't want it to be 50 or whatever it was. Because it kind of makes sense that it should be a little claustrophobic. Oh yeah, and then I have a compass at the top there. That seems fine. Replica Sword. The newest of the fallen, take up your sword and fight. An expertly sculpted piece of stone made to resemble the steel lawn swords of the castle guard. Not an elegant weapon by any means, but better than nothing. Okay. And there's weapon XP. So using a weapon makes it stronger? Question mark? Oh, am I just the levitating hand? Or is it not attached to me because it got cut off? I don't know. Warp save. So this is the save bonfire kind of thing. Can't level up, I guess. Uh... I wonder what makes me better at finding items and stuff as a thief. Silver. Lunacy. 721 PM. Oh, I guess the, yeah, that's what time it is. Oh, I wanted to see is there controls that tell me, I guess in the game guide, game manual. Controls. Attack, block, jump, walk. There's no duck or sneak or anything like that. Okay. As requires mana. Killing the enemy is gives you experience. Elemental types, normal poison, fire, light, ice, dark. Not all NPCs are hostile, so we can be talked to and offer aid. Cool. I don't have a map. I just remember where I've gone. I'm going this way. North, I guess. It looks sealed. must have to come back. Oh, I can jump. Seek the slumbering creature of moonlight, the last existing door. can jump pretty high. I'm guessing I don't want to drop down though. I guess I can't take that. Oh, I gotta back up. It's too close to it. Ashes. Gotten withered remnants of a dead fellow. Oh. Cool.
Huh. Huh. It's a snail. We got him. Okay. I have 26% XP. Oh man. Ouch. Come back. Oh. The shell. Protects him. Makes sense. Hey. Did I cut off like his antenna or something? I want to make sure I don't get lost. Right. Milk snail. Interesting. So, is this telling me that I could level up once, but could I level up twice if I have 200%? Or does it like get higher every time? I you know, like how Dark Souls is, I don't know. Can I swim? I feel like I should go back. What is that thing? Hello? Flea? Shulker. Ouch. Oh. Cursed. I can't attack. How do I uncurse? Or does it wear off? There. Oh. There you go. There's something glowing over there. Ouch. It's interesting that they seem like they tried to run away. You're hurting them too much. Okay. What's this? Man of Vile. Man of Vile. Silver vial of liquid that fully recovers the drinker's magic ability made from the cranial fluid of magic adept beasts during the birth of magic. Whoa. I don't think I need that. I'm not using magic right now. A 
ring. Ghost light. Summons a spectral orb of light that follows the caster for 45 seconds, useful for illuminating the depths of the well. So that does cost mana. How do, how do I use it? It said magic. Holding down the button and releasing it. What, which, which, which button? Attack block. Do I have to... Can I switch? I can push Q. Which seems to switch to my other weapon, maybe. Is there a magic button that it's not telling me about? C. Okay. Let me read one more thing. Was that on here and I didn't see it? No. Casting spells will increase your lunacy. Lunacy causes magic to deal more damage. Lunacy buildup is affected by the real world moon phase. Oh. What's the moon phase tonight? It's a waxing crescent. Okay. So maybe it's minor? I don't know. So depending on what day you play this game, it could affect your magic. That's interesting. Or at least your lunacy. They turn around. I thought maybe I could stay behind him. I'm gonna have to retreat after this guy maybe. And maybe I should level up and heal myself. I wonder if that makes the enemies come back. But I guess now's the time to find out. I guess we can fight the snail. Let's see what's over here. of silence hollow basin health vial okay it's got an eye but it's shaped like a key so there must be something health vial Bone vial of blood that fully recovers the drinker's vitality given to knights during the subterranean crusades. These vials remain as a precious relic of that time. How do I use quick items if I excite a quick item? I don't want to waste it necessarily. I think it's missing some control prompts. In the 
menu there, and you can't change them. Which is unfortunate. Maybe you can in like a config file or something, but use. Level up. So... This sword... Uh, uh, does it tell me what the stats do exactly? Like, should I be focusing on... Maybe I shouldn't level up. Oh, I guess it says... Base attack, chump. Run speed. So you can level up your run speed and your jumping. So you can jump really high. So strength... Damage just seems to be strength. Oh, it says on the side there too. Defense determines maximum health and how much can be blocked before guard is broken. Speed is ma is just running speed. I like the idea of being able to jump crazy. <laughs> Especially if I'm like a thief. Maximum mana, spell damage, now fast spells charge. All on status effects take to wear off. That or speed. I don't know, I feel like being able to jump to some stupid spot could be a lot of fun. You will make that 10 and the strength 10. Who knows? Because I see stuff like this too, like... If I could move fast enough and jump high enough, I could probably get up there. Snails are still dead. Let's go this way. I sneak up on him. I might have. I was hoping I could still release the attack. You're a jerk. I wonder if, uh,
If because it's purple, that means it's dark magic. Oh no, it's only magic I've seen. I think I just turned around. Yeah, this is where I had come from. These are two dead ends. Did I miss a turn? Ugh. I had a cold recently and my, I'm, I feel just so congested. I don't feel sick otherwise though, which is good, but I guess maybe I go in the tunnels. Casting a spell. Oh, I could block the spells too. Spear. Fires a flaming javelin, a weaponized form of pyromancy created by Fire Witch Ashley. Okay, so C is my left spell, V is my right spell. You don't look very friendly to me. Maybe you are. Hello. You look a little lost. This area is called Hollow Basin. It is the highest reach point of the Great Well. It's also one of the safest areas of the Great Well, except, of course, Wayne's Rest. Speaking of Wayne's Rest, I could spirit you there if you want. Uh, no? Well, I'm here if you ever need to get there. I want to look around. Oh, I'm back. I'm back here. I'm still... This may be a bad idea, but I want to be able to jump. I'm convinced there will be some place I can only get by jumping. Okay. So now I have a shortcut. That lady will teleport me somewhere potentially. I don't know.
Maybe I have to go there because I'm not seen. An alternative because now I'm back here. Maybe I have to. Gotcha, one moment. Whoa. So I can warp between these places. Okay. We used rest. Crystal shard. What's the crystal shard do? Hi Sparrow, I follow this and made you think of you. Hope you're being safe on your way down. Remember you can always come back here using warp crystals. Sometimes it's good to take a break or even revisit an area you've already been to. Be safe. So you need the warp crystals to warp. Cheryl the Crow. What a mess you've been caught up in. Welcome to the depths, outsider. Escape the to the outworld has long been a myth. <laughs> if you're gonna explore, why not prepare yourself? Let's you do trick it perhaps, sure. The bewitched key made from ocean bone, able to remove the old enchanted gates that were put in place after the crusades. Is that what I need to open that one door? Probably. Rapier steel needle with the guard removed, though quick and agile, some defense is sacrificed. Crossbow, health vial, mana vial, antidote. Thanks. The moon cried to us in our time of need. Clive. Well, hello there, Sonny. People call me Clive. Well, that's not really my name. I seem to have lost it. My memory isn't quite what it used to be. But my bones is good. I stay young by drinking these little health tonics. You let you take some, you look a little mealy. Be careful of wandering the depths. Not everyone, everything out there is as peaceful as a skeleton. Etna. Salutations, Outlander. Welcome to the depths. I'm Etna. I study the sacred art of alchemy down here. If you happen on any materials during your journey, should you should bring them to me. Want to do some alchemy? Yeah. Ashes. 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 So I don't have anything that can do anything. Okay, so you can combine certain things to make stuff.
enhance weapon. Oh. Weapon cannot be enhanced. Heritage sword, a steel long sword typically given to the castle guard. Though the castle fell long ago, these swords remain as a testament to the quality of the royal armory and have been passed down for generations. It's turned into an actual steel sword. So, can I actually teleport? Sorry. Or is it going to take charge of something? Or... I'm trying to remember where that was. That door. One day. Get the snails are back. Wow, that's way stronger. a couple of pennies. Whoa. Another dropping lots of money. Maybe that's part of my thief skills. Is that they're more likely to drop nice stuff. Was that door in this area, or was it? Elsewhere. I'm just going backwards now, now I'm here. of silence. Enchanted key. How do I use the key? So it puts it on like, I just push a number and it kind of uses it. And I've got zero. Whatever. Torch. Crude torches like these are common with in dark tunnels. It seems for long it's recorded history, people have sought to drive away the darkness that surrounds us. So it's not really very powerful, but it can level up, which I noticed this sword doesn't have the XP bar anymore, and then I was able to level it up, so I wonder what the torch becomes. 
tempts me to uh, use it. Although it's very weak. Wow. of ashes. And that's a shortcut. It's very disconcerting music playing. to me that this is the temple of silence and I'm running around like breaking everything. Soon we'll be free of the accursed well for great prophet Abdul has found a way out. While we are tethered here physically our minds can be extracted with enlightenment. I mean you extracted your minds that's for sure. Ritual Dagger. A strange, wicked-looking instrument seems to not do much damage, as it was intended to make victims suffer by inflicting tiny piercing wounds which got infected from a poison coating the blade. So it does poison damage. Let's just see what it looks like. Interesting. I'm waiting for these guys to like reanimate. I wonder if I jump down here, is it gonna. It's too high. just very paranoid right now.
on me. Boys. I was gonna say, if he's undead, does he get affected by fire? Just like the bear character undead would be. How much experience did that give me for the weapon? So I'd have to kill at least like five guys with this weapon. Possibly no. Get out of the. There we go. Heads explode. Ouch. It's weird. I don't fully understand how that bar thing works because if I push one it like selects it then it won't use it unless I push two oh mummy knight I'd like to know what it does when it levels up. I would have been lost. I'm back here where the book was, which means that bridge is over here? This is where the dagger was. I don't think I went that way though. Lithomancy. Forbidden blood magic that gives life to the inanimate. Unable to comprehend existence, the objects only scream. Created by mad wizard Abdul before his exile. It is unknown what purpose the spell was. I mean, I can imagine... That didn't work. Yeah, 
It took my health. It makes inanimate objects scream. Is that what it says? It gives life to the inanimate. So there must be something I can use it on that I need to make a noise. Either that or it's just very random. I thought maybe this was a horn and it would like blow the horn. It's interesting that the blood magic uses your health, but then it regenerates, so it's like... I need the balance between... Casting the spells and how much health you got. This is here. It's gonna be thorough that I'm not <clears throat> missing anything. I have not been here. I might be able to jump up there. Mummy. Oh, did I knock his arm off? Oh, shit. So maybe I was cutting the head off because I was attacking the head. Heck yeah, jumping. attacking the body part. Cut his sword arm off and stuff like that. Ouch. Torch is not quite leveled up. Flame flare. Summons a flaming light that stays where it is cast for 45 seconds, a simple form of pyromancy created by the Fire Witch Ashley. <clears throat> I don't have enough mana. Yeah, I was gonna say, this looks like a big wall. Hollow basin. The 
this gonna give me a shortcut back by below? I'm down below. Mirage revealed. So that'll take me back up. Cool. Um. You you say forest. Well. I'd like to still explore that other place more, but... Level up! That's cool, now we know how to get there. Where am I trying to get? I want to go this way. Summon snail. Summons a snail as a temporary familiar prevent prevalent in moist areas. These snails have grown larger from the seeping moonlight. Although fairly useless in a fight, some magical practitioner, practitioner thought of a use for them. Maybe it's not this way. That is how I get to the food, though. I wanted to get back to that village. Ocean Bone Shirt. I guess I could teleport to the village, but Does that hurt him? It sure hurts me.
of a cool spell. I could cut the plants. Okay, she's not here anyway. I guess there's not much else to do here, so let's just go back. torch it does way more damage upgrade with iron bands to protect the water's hands and a bit more guard it's still not that great of a weapon that's cool anyway they could upgrade it I wasn't asleep, I was just fancy new trinket. Yeah. I've got 82 now. A ranged weapon would be kind of cool. A crossbow. Crossbow. A basic ranged weapon. Reach 60. Obsidian, pitch black glass made from viscous lava to the guard against negative energy.
Okay. Did I ever tell you about the wicked king of rats? No. Legend goes that among that long ago, during the first age of magic, a witch king ruled in a starving kingdom. The, his magic was great. He withheld the ma castle's bountiful provisions, and he let his kingdom wither. Let them eat the rats, he declared to his knights, who eventually betrayed him. He was not sentenced to death by his knights, but exile in the cavernous depths carved from the flowing moonlight. His eyes were plucked out, so he could never look up from the well. One of his arms was cut off, so he could never climb off. And rats surrounded him, his only nourishment. Over the years, he would continuously starve, but never died. Using the last of his magic, the exiled witch king turned himself to stone. And the legend goes that the deepest reaches of the depths there's a crumbling statue of him, one worshipped by rats. At least I think that's how it happened. My memory ain't that good. So could I reanimate the statue of him? With that spell? Isn't it pretty here? Yeah. I feel like I don't need to escape the out to the outworld as long as peaceful places like this exist. But I still want to help those who do. Be safe. Okay. Tried to use that spell on that thing, but it didn't do anything. I think this is back where I first started, but I went to see what I might have missed. Adrian, thank you for following. Doesn't seem like there's anything back there. Very welcome to me to check out your streams. How, how how else did you know about me other than through Twitch? Watching the Thief Famish and playthroughs. Awesome. I've been meaning to uh, go back to those and do some more of them sometime soon, but I've just been distracted with everything else. Not really in a thief mood, but I think I'm getting there again. So I'll have to play some new ones and then... Uh, go from there but yeah thanks I appreciate that it's cool to see that uh, there's some crossover <laughs> happening I definitely uh, those thief fan missions are definitely the more popular of stuff that streaming and uh, posting them on YouTube let's see how this crossbow works it's very inaccurate <laughs> And I enjoy playing it, I just, uh, I also enjoy doing other stuff too, so. Am I going the right way? Yeah, Thief is one of my favorite games, and for a long time I never tried any of those fan missions. And, uh, I eventually got into it, and it's just amazing to me, like, 
how many are out there and how they are continuing to be made even today. Yeah, the quality is what surprises me the most. Like, I, I don't even know what to say about it. Like, they're just, there's so many of them that are so good. And I'm very much looking forward to, I know one that's been in production for a while, the Black Parade. I'm a whole campaign, I understand. I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to that more than I am, like, fully produced, like, video games, so. Is this gaining experience? It is, but slowly. Yeah, Skaggy. Yeah, he does a great job. Money. So yeah, I definitely gotta get back into some more fan missions soon. Where am I trying to go? I'm trying to remember. Oh, I want to go back to that temple. But I don't remember exactly how to get there. I guess I could go down and around this way. This way, I might want that torch back, or maybe we'll use the torch, and we'll see how the crossbow works for us. Uh, how did I not see this last time? Steel spear. Sharp spear with a steel point, manufactured and mastered the Crusades to the Great Well. It's got greater reach, but less damage. Uh, let's try it out. Okay. Oh, you're alive. Ouch. Yeah, I've been enjoying this so far. Get out of here. Um... It, it's been on my wish list for a while, and it's not quite at 1.0 full release, but it's still got a lot of stuff going on, and, like, I've been in the mood for, like, just, like, a dungeon crawl kind of fantasy game. And I was looking through all these different games, and this one kept popping up, and I'm like... I don't remember if... I think it was on sale right now, maybe, for, like, six, seven bucks. And I'm like, why don't I just buy this and play this? Because it, it, it is... it's pretty sweet. If you're into, uh, like, this kind of game, anyway. There might not be anything else down here, but I wanted to make sure. This was that secret door, right? But we've been there. Have I gone down here? Yes. 
Yes, I have. This is that room where I opened the gates. So... Maybe I've been everywhere. Torch actually might be better than that spear in a way because now that I've upgraded it, they start on fire faster too. So maybe we should just use the torch. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'd say the same thing about some of the fan missions that I like. Uh, oh shit. That, uh, the use of, like, the light, the dark, and the color and stuff adds a lot. I feel like there's a lot of games these days that they're all, like, very monochromatic. Like, AAA type games. Like, this is not afraid to have, like, bright blues and purples and pinks and stuff. And then when you have, like, a fan mission that has stained glass windows and crazy lighting and, like, green and purple and blue and stuff going on, I always like that. I don't really care if it, it's like, yeah, it's like a low-poly blocky thing, but the overall aesthetic is still really awesome. And that's what matters more to me, I think. Uh, I'm trying to be systematic with where I'm looking here. So let's go this way. I'm not sure. There's definitely, like, I could hit him in the head. But they're like, his arm disappeared. And I think they can't... Sometimes they can shoot out, like, a little poison thing, but if they don't have a head, I don't think they can. And, like, can he even hurt me now? Oh. Yeah, new new dark changes everything. Oh, this is a passage. Those guys over there. I'm always happy to see. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm always happy to see. Whether it's Thief, whether it's other classic games. People like literally going into like the code and like rewriting engines and stuff to be able to play games. I saw recently someone did that for. I don't know if it's like a full rewrite or how they did it, but like a. Uh, Dark Force is the old Star Wars FPS game. Making that work better on modern hardware by oh shit. Updating the engine or whatever. Which is cool. I haven't played them in a long time, but I did enjoy those back in the day from what I remember. So stuff like that, that's always cool to see. If it weren't for people doing their games, we lost the time. Exactly. And I think that's an important thing. It's like, uh, I would say... What? I hear this. Oh, there he is. I would say games are art. And they deserve... Preservation. Absolutely.
This spear is definitely nice to just poke at guys from further away that they can reach. Where didn't I just see a guy? back around the corner. What did I just pick up? Shield? Long ago I heard tales of Abdul at his temple. How they managed to reach enlightenment and escape, but they're still here, or at least their bodies are. I think I got lucky with Thief because I played it when it was like almost brand new. Like it was probably 90, might have been 98, 99 ish when I would have played it. And I still have the original case. The jewel case, anyway. I would have been eight or nine or something at the time. And I remember playing that game a ton, but I always just played the vanilla whatever game. And years later, being like, oh hey, I remember this game and how much fun I had with it. And then I played it again and I got into it again. And it became my favorite game. And then only then did I realize that there was like fan missions. And then I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> this is amazing. Anyway. What was that other thing I picked up? Shield. A typical wooden shield. Normally used in the offhand and paired with a sword or thrusting weapon provides ample defense if timed well. So hold on, can I? Can I somehow equip both? Or do I have to use just... Just the shield on its own. normally used in the offhand. None of these weapons can level up, though. So I guess if you just need to be super defensive, I could use the shield. Weird. I think I'll start using this crossbow again though, because then that, that can actually level up and then maybe it'll be something cool or more powerful. Although it might also be to my detriment. Got sucked down the fan mission rabbit hole. Been down there ever since. Yeah, I don't blame it. Okay. It's more accurate and more powerful if you bother to aim, so I think it's worth it. Unless you just had like a huge target. And it blew his head off. What is this? Blood wine. Made from, fer from fermented blood. A delicacy and aristocratic. Ah! 
<laughs> um, anyway. Uh, aristocratic and vampiric circles restores one's blood and health if vampiric, otherwise poisonous. I'm not a vampire. I do feel like I said this earlier too, but if I enjoy this game enough, I'm definitely gonna have to try some of the other characters to see how they're different. Because there's like an undead, there's a vampire, there's a knight, there's a cleric, there's a something else. And I don't know if how they're different. I'm a thief apparently right now. And the only thing I think it's maybe doing is like I find more money and loot compared to other people, possibly. Otherwise, I don't necessarily have any different abilities. As far as I can tell. Nothing obvious. An illusion. A mirage. A thief, naturally, yes. I mean, I had no choice. It, it was the default option, I mean. I feel like... Oh, the sound design. Yeah, that's absolutely true. I wasn't even thinking about that, but... The sound of just, like, your footprints and the... Uh, different effects are all very well made and the music and stuff adds a lot to like the ominous feeling of this place. I might have been everywhere now. I think I'm back at the front door. Yeah, that that's absolutely affected my opinion of like <laughs> every other game that I play. The atmosphere and stuff of Thief. Just not something you see. I, I think you're starting to see it more. There's been sort of this like really cool revival of like retro inspired games. I don't know if retro is even the right word, but whatever you want to call it. Uh... I think I want to go this way. I don't remember. I think maybe I found everything in that tube. I'm not sure, but we could also go down to that new area, which we haven't explored at all. I know I was looking at reviews for this before I bought it and someone was complaining that the game was like way too slow. And like, I kind of understand that, especially when you're first starting, but already I'm feeling like way different. Like I'm way more powerful and can do more stuff. But it's, it, it is more of a slow paced game compared to some, that's for sure. But I don't know. Can I level up? I sure can. I'm convinced that if I get my speed and dexterity high enough that it affects your running speed and your jumping. That I'll be able to get into secret places. So I'm probably at the detriment of my actual combat abilities trying to move faster and jump higher because I see this and I'm like there's no way I can't get up here if I had the ability 
I don't think I could make it now, though. Maybe if I was faster moving, but... Or just... Working on that jump... Jump height. It's probably... I hope there's something cool up there. I'm sure there's something up there. But will it be worthwhile? I don't know. Uh, if it's just empty, I will cry. Sorry, Sparrow. Sometimes it's hard being the only one that needs sleep. I've never seen Demi sleep, and everyone else here are technically dead. Anyway. I could get a rapier. Sure. Rapier. Okay, I understand that though, because there was a back step stat, and that must just be when you when you block, you can all it also lets you like back step, so you can just like avoid and dodge entirely. And if you get enough XP, it'll level up here. So let's try it out. About the great witch who escaped the great well. No. The story goes that there was a child thrown into the well. Orphanages would do this practice regularly to keep from being overwhelmed. But this child was special, for they were quite adept at magic and alchemy. And while still in their childhood, they accomplished what many could not. They escaped the great well by astral projection. They projected further than anyone, any had done before and made it to the outworld. But they found no solace in the world above, and eventually they returned. As they came back down, they found that their mortal body had perished. They had freedom, but were a ghost. And the tales speak that they're still down here, helping others, and still practicing alchemy. At least that's how it happened. I think that's how it happened. My memory is it ain't that good. <laughs> uh, I think it's this person right here. I don't know how to do any of this, but I guess once you figure it out, it, you just do it. Small slice of a broken ocean bone. Onyx. Obsidian. Onyx. Ashes. Obsidian. So it's limiting what I can put in, so it must... I just don't have the right combination of junk. What happened to that bone shard? Is it using it when I'm failing to forge? No. I don't know. I don't understand the alchemy right now. <clears throat> wow. Can't level up. Let's warp to the forest. You say it's forest. I'm sure it's cool once you figure it out. But it gives you no guidance. Maybe there's like. Whoa. Books and 
things you can find in the game. This is fucking cool looking. I'm guessing I get hurt if I fall down. I got, I came to this crystal, saved and left. I didn't even look out the door. Whoa. Naga. I I almost feel bad. Weird that it I don't know where their bodies like disappear. This looks like something. Destroying Angel. Uh, oh, oh. Holy warmth. Revitalizes the user simply at the cost of mana, so it heals me? If this is just the way I was supposed to come down. Either way, there would be stuff up here I want to look at before we go down, probably. A terribly poisonous white mushroom known to cause delirium and death. I gave all my blood to the forest, but it wasn't enough. Blood drain acquired. A simple form of blood magic, rather than hurting one's enemies, it simply sprays them with blood. Why? I'm just bleeding. Holy shit. I don't know why you do want to do that bleeding thing. Unless it gives you some kind of advantage. Many souls have tried and failed to climb the branches into the outworld, but what if the answer lay below? Am I just here? Yes. Yeah, but what if I could jump high enough to get out of here? Hmm. 
Hmm. Speedrun tactic. Spirit rabbit. That's a big spirit rabbit or deer or something. Whoa! It's interesting how it's like. Textured. This thing is tough. I didn't mean to use two potions there, that's fine. This rapier is actually not very strong at all. The shrooms are in this forest. I don't know. Maybe I've been breathing some spores. Oh shit, he attacked me. I didn't think he could. Stop fire. Well, all right. I was not expecting spirit animals. Is this... I maybe if I bled on it, it would do something. Ah. What about... it up after I do something because those mummies didn't wake up until after I pulled some levers uh this way Bust his leg off, huh? This is leveling up slowly but surely.
Is this a ladder? Yep. Oh, it's another one of these doors. I saw one of these earlier. Okay. Do I risk going over there? If only I could jump higher. There's a sword there. Oh. Oh. I was wondering if there's a difference between the colors, but it doesn't seem like it. Ouch. Ouch. I'll have to remember that there's a door and there's a sword in the trees. Maybe I can get there from a different path. Better I just need to keep working on my jump. So close. Fly trap. Whoa. Wonder if fireworks well against him.
Yeah, that seems to do something. Uh... What the f I almost died. I'm not sure if I'm like... If jumping through that got me somewhere I wouldn't have been able to get normally or if I just like... Took a shortcut to somewhere else. where I want to go. Am I even hitting this thing? Am I hitting this thing? for it, see what we get into. Neptune. doing but it doesn't sound good. I wonder if it's cold magic because it's blue and it's called Neptune. Ah. That's tunnel that I saw before, I think. But have I explored this place properly? I kind of wish I had a map sometimes. where I started. Definitely confusing area.
This goes here. Which I can't get through. This goes here, which I can't get through. So I, I must do something in this place that lets me... <clears throat> open those up or something. Does that sound? I don't know. That means I'm getting like a critical hit or something, or, or what? But a book. My downward journey through the roots is taking its toll. Although the roots are free of the paralytic ooze, the upward branches have. I am weary of these aggressive sproutlings. I must have missed something, right? Because I might not going back up to the surface now. this but I can't quite get up there oh it takes me here stop shooting pull out your other weapon been here before though
but don't know. to see <clears throat> I go back I think that lantern was like signifying something but it doesn't necessarily seem like it I went this way right yeah it's the last place I look which is right here or is this going back up to where I've been before I've not been here maybe we're on the right way actually First time I've ever died. What does that mean? I just lost all my progress. Well, that really sucks. Is this an accurate Kingsfield clone? I can't say for accuracy. Because I've never played Kingsfield, but it's definitely inspired by Kingsfield. I never played them, but they always look kind of cool. And yeah, this is, I'm not pleased about having to go all the way back here, but, uh. Maybe it won't be too bad if I kind of know where I should be going. How did I get to that one place? I think it was over here. Yonder. The spoiled with quick saving. Yeah, quick saving's pretty damn nice. And I get why some people don't like it in games, but I really like having quick save. Including in like immersive sims and stuff, because I feel like experimenting with stuff and like trying different things it's like part of the fun some people think that's counter to the game sometimes and i don't know whatever i might not even bother fighting some of this stuff
I don't remember. Was there anything over there? But I could always come back too, so. I'm just gonna get run past these guys. And hope they don't follow me into this place, otherwise I'm gonna be screwed. <laughs> Terrible idea. Mostly concerned about the deer or whatever the heck these guys are. Now that's gonna be. Hold on. Oh, I thought I could get up there. I did once, like. Accidentally. Got some pixel I could stand on. Okay. Now I just gotta figure out how I got to that other spot. Crossbow kind of eats your inputs too. Like if you push the button too fast, it'll do it multiple times instead of ow, letting you switch weapons. where I came from, right? Okay. I don't remember. I think I'm... I think I'm not going the right way. There's a guy behind me. Ah! I 
I should turn my healing spell back on. Like, do I have to go down? But I thought... Maybe I'm confusing two different lower areas, but I thought they were all interconnected. No, yeah, now I'm... I think I was here. <laughs> I don't know, this place is so confusing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I want to go... No, wait, what? I'm pretty sure I want to go up and then... One direction or the other is where I thought I had to go. Maybe I do jump down off that thing. And then... And then go right? Or... Or is this just back where I started? This is just back where I started, isn't it? I think it's somewhere over here, though. I just don't remember which path to take. That's the dead end. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. Boy, oh boy. That's the only way, right? Yeah. Is it this way? Is this what I'm thinking of? Possibly. That really hurt it. Was it against these guys? Oh, I shot the ice beam out of the sky.
Again. Huh. Cool. Turn back, nothing but darkness ahead. Ah, oh, you don't say. I would love to find uh, another save point or something. Probably know there's one down there. But I don't know. Forest entrance. A truly shop. Let's see if this takes us back to the beginning. Maybe that's the exit we need. We're back here anyway, not quite the beginning. That's good, we got a shortcut. someone down here. Not many even survive past the forest spirits. I like I have some items for you, sure. Poison urn, a fragile urn filled with poisonous smoke. A flask of enchanted water embodying the spirit of the ocean. By drinking it, one becomes closer to the ocean and gains plus 40 mana permanently. Berry moss, a clump of rutubulum that slowly heals the user for 60 seconds. That's cool. Small vial of precious moonlight liquid fully restores mana and increases lunacy. A rare item indeed, often kept by the magically inclined for dire needs. A golden vial of blood that fully recovers the drinker's vitality. Question mark? Given in the nights during the subterranean crusades? Question mark? These vials remain as a precious relic of that time? Question mark? Why is it different than a normal one? It's a health vi eye, not a viol. So if I use these, it's like a homeward bone. Like in Dark Souls, it just takes you back to town. Earth elixir. Oh, he gave me this and I never used it. Earth elixir. Well, uh, ocean elixir. I... I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to even touch that vial. So I've got more HP max and mana. I have zero keys.
Maybe it's worth the trek back up. So we can save. Make sure we don't lose our progress and everything else. I'm gonna try this too. Thanks for walking into the fire and just sitting down on it. This way is the way out, I think. Be nice to level up. And then I might also be able to keep messing with the speed and jump. Oh shit. We can figure out what that sword is too. What happens if your lunacy gets maxed out? Not really a concern for me when I'm not casting a lot of spells. We could level up the, s the crossbow, too. Might as well do that. 15. Let's get at least 25. So we'd be at 30. What if? Double crossbow. Just reload faster. Double arch crossbow capable of fire bolts at faster speeds, pretty much. And the damage might be better, I don't know. to escape the great well, yeah. I've got one whole penny. We'll try and check this out. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That's more powerful. Double crossbow. Spear. What happened, uh... What happened to the rapier? Was that the weapon? Wait, what? Why don't, yeah, why don't I have the rapier anymore? I'm confused. I'm real confused because I bought that from that pro. I don't remember. There's a path to climb up. There's a chest right there. Oh. I still don't know what happened to the... Reap here. Wooden longbow made from a toy bound vines. Useful range weapon created by the skilled craftsfolk of the Elfin Kingdom. I mean, it's pretty nice, I guess. 42. It would have been a definite improvement over the normal crossbow, but I think the double crossbow is stronger. that at that I could climb up there was a um, definitely a uh, vine situation I don't think it was right here Must be to the right.
over here. Will we be able to get to this thing though? There's this door still. Can't quite get up there. It really sucks. Only you could mantle, yeah. True. Can I from here get to up there? Probably not. Oh, it's treacherous because I'm like falling. Maybe I can jump high enough to grab it from that branch there, but I don't know. Maybe this? That sword. Can I pull something off? I screwed it up. We can kind of stick to the wall a little bit. All right, Adrian, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe I can... Maybe I can... Oh! Oh! I don't think I can get that. <laughs> I think this is my only chance, unless I learn to jump higher. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it otherwise. have to come back here eventually for that door. So I'm hoping uh, we'll be able to grab it eventually. Where I get a key. That one lady didn't sell a key. I'm gonna try one more time just because I'm stubborn. I can get up there, but I can't do anything valuable. If only there were little platforms or something I could land on. I tried to jump, but it didn't work. Damn it. Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, I could have just shot it with like an arrow. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought I had to climb up here. Maybe you do have to hit it with a melee, so then it wouldn't have worked with the arrow. I don't know. Anything else up here while I'm up here? I didn't jump. And now I lost progress. Really? disillusioned suddenly. I want to see what this thing does, and I might otherwise we might just be done for now because it is we, we have been at it for three hours, so so this seems like it's a trick, like it's actually poison or something. But let's find out. This one. Poisoned. Is it just gonna like completely murder me? Possibly. <laughs> yeah. And I'm still poisoned. I wonder how long it lasts. Now it's gone. It's a mean trick. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll uh, end it there. But I definitely plan on playing more of this and we'll try and reclaim my dignity. Uh, thanks for hanging out.